What is up guys, in today's video we're going to check the baby steps how to overclock the Ryzen 2700. When I built this computer, my plan was never to overclock and as a matter of fact, I was going to sell the computer. But then I liked the performance of Ryzen and I fell in love with it. I moved from the i7 5820K 6 core 12 thread to the Ryzen 2700 a core 16 thread. But you don't want to hear none of my background stories. You don't want to hear none of that. Let's dive in right into the video. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and do the overclocking right quick. Now this overclocking is gonna be one that I already did, that I already tested, the one that I already use for my day-to-day -day gaming and day-to-day -day editing and day-to-day -day use and day-to-day -day eating and day-to-day -day for everything, all right? Day-to-day. Before I get into that, I'm going to go ahead and read you my specs. Well, the Ryzen 2700 is a 12 nanometer base on Zen from Ryzen, obviously. Uh, the base clock is 3.2, as you can see right here on the screen, and with a TDP of 65 watts and a boost frequency or turbo boost of 4.1 gigahertz. Big BS, because I could not get it stable at 1.4 volts. Man, making these types of videos are so hard for us YouTubers because we don't want to make a half an hour video we just want to make like a 10 minute video and be out of here, right? It's nearly impossible. This is like my 10th time trying to make this video without going off topic. It's so hard. So before you do any overclocking, ask yourself, do you have enough cooling for it? Do you have enough cooling for overclocking your CPU? Do you have a good CPU cooler? That's the question that I'm going to ask first. And if you are using the stock cooler that comes with the 2700 i recommend you to back out of this video and don't overclock it until you have something better like a liquid cooling or something better i don't want you to fry or overheat that processor now some people argue it well this cooler is enough i'll tell you it's not enough it's going to be running hot at all times and we don't want that for your system so i will ask you please leave the video but if you still want to do it it's on your responsibility because overclocking means higher voltage higher temperatures so with that said and out of the way let's go ahead and do the overclocking uh my current overclock as you can see right here is 4025 right and profile number one 4025 at 1.3 this is my overclocking the tutorial ends right here go ahead and copy <clears throat> my settings and goodbye but if you want to stay stick around and watch how i do it manually you can now profile number two i have it the same and let's go ahead and reset the profile back to stock the way it is, all right? Now, like I said, this overclock, I have it working for my day-to-day -day everything. I already said that. So the first thing we want to do is change from control mode from auto to manual mode. And from manual mode is going to allow us to change everything. Whoa, disable. We don't want to disable the cores. Go ahead and uh, move the slider up if you want. Let's go ahead and let's go to 4025. Or if you want to go to 4000, you can. I'm going to go ahead and go 4025, tab, 4025. Okay, we are at the very last one. I had to skip this part of the video because I don't want to bore you guys with it. So once you hit 4025, okay or 4000 however you want to do it let's go into the cpu core voltage the voltage that has worked for me and the only one that has worked for me you can try going lower if you want start at 1.3 don't go any higher than that if you want to go higher on this processor i tried going 4.1 and i went up to 1.4 volts and it did not work 4025 at 1.3 works perfectly fine and my temps are not too crazy. Go ahead and enable memory control with which this is like XMP. It's going to allow the memory to run at the specific speed. Now my RAM will not hit 3000 megahertz. It stays at 2933. And I always wonder to myself why. And until I dig and I did my digging and my researching into this processor, this specific processor, I realized that 2933 is what always stays and it doesn't pass from that. So that is the only, if I would have known about this, I would have not got this processor, to be honest. 
I would have went and got the 2700X. It's a, it's a $100 difference. Okay, so pretty much this is what it is, guys. You just hit apply. And if I hit apply right now, well, uh, what's going to do is it's going to stop my video. So I'm going to go hit apply and test. Let's just do it right now. There it is. So because this overclock was already done and applied to um, profile number two and profile number one, it didn't make me restart, but it will ask you to restart your computer system. So right now it's running the stress test as I am recording this video. That is the power of eight cores, 16 threads. I love it. I moved from six core, 12 thread with my i7 5820K. That CPU still rocks and kicks ass. Um, I can still edit videos in 4K. Perfect. Amazing. Which I don't edit in 4K. I always edit in 1080p 60fps. Uh, what, what do we got here? Uh, profile number two, apply interest test success. Well, you've seen how it's done. Simple and easy. You change your numbers here. Your core clock speeds, you change your core voltage, you go to, well, first you go to manual. You enable this, don't mess around with nothing, leave it the way it is, right? I'm telling you, don't mess around with nothing, leave it the way it is. Uh, and you are good to go. This overclock has worked for me. If you want to try 4.0, you're more than welcome. Now, bonus, I'm going to run a couple of benchmarks. One with Ryzen Master open and another one with Ryzen Master close. And you're going to see the difference. Now, do you see this core right here? This is mine yesterday. I was messing around with 4.0 and I was trying to increase to 4.25. I mean, 4, 40, 25. And well, you're going to see the results in a minute. But this right here is 4.0 at 1.3 volts. I'm going to go ahead and get my DSLR camera and I'm going to record the screen because I don't want too many softwares open when I am running this bench. Okay, so here we are. I am looking at the Ryzen Master software. I'm gonna go ahead and run the benchmark and it's running right now. As you can see right here, it's running, but I want to keep an eye on the temps. As you can see, it's going up to 6275 Celsius. 62, 62, staying around 62 Celsius temp 61 okay stopped and my score is 1791 all right now let me go ahead and close ryzen master okay so i close ryzen master software but i open up cpu z i want to see if i get any increase in performance from 1791 just by closing the software let's go ahead and run it my score was 1791 right now all right, and my new score went up to 1802. So you know what? I'm going to try another one with uh, the CPU-C close. Let's see if it gets any higher. We got 1807 this time around. All right, it's pretty cool. All right, guys, this is it. This was your host, Sergio with Takeover Clacked. I hope that the video helped you a little bit. If it did, please smash the like down below. Please subscribe. We had 8,000 subscribers yesterday, I believe. Yay for that one. I'm very happy, excited about it. And it's also very cool that AMD released this software to overclock your CPU safely. Although if you mess up something in there, trust me, you will have headaches. And I'll make a video about that on a different topic about this. You know what? This is the end of the video. Bye. Have a great time. Bye bye. Have a great time. And I'll see you next time. Bye.